Train Lover 1974 presents Old Memories. The boulder quarry had recently reopened. Although this time, the boulder wasn't up on his mountain this time. He had been moved after the incident all those years ago. Rusty was put in charge of the operation. But Rusty just couldn't help but feel a bit edgy. Peter Sam was up there too this time. He was helping move some of the rock. Then Rusty came in. <sighs> oh, hey, Rusty. Rusty, this rock is very good, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. What's the matter, Rusty? You look a bit sketched out. Well, it's just being up here brings back some unpleasant memories. Oh, such as? Well, I'm pretty sure you might have heard the stories about this place. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that story. About how you were chased by a boulder, including Renaz and Scarloe. Yep, and how it blew up into a shed. How did that happen, exactly? We figured it out eventually after investigators came to investigate about what happened. They found out was there was a box of dynamite placed in the shed as for storage. But they forgot to remove it because it was due to be loaded onto a train that day. Then that day was when Boulder got loose. And then he crashed in there causing some sparks and then the dynamite blew up. So that's how that shed blew up. Oh. Yep. But anyway, I have to go. <sighs> Alright. Rusty had to head back down to the transfer yard in order to get refilled. Rusty didn't mind working up here. It took a it was nice to take a break from maintenance work. But he didn't really like spending that much time up at the quarry, considering what all the bad memories he had here. Scarlowe and Renez, who were up there at the time, too, noticed this. I think we should have a talk with Rusty. Yeah, I think you're right. We'll have to wait for Peter Sam, though, to leave. Yeah. Peter Sam and them continue working hard all day, helping shunt trucks <laughs> and moving trucks. <laughs> As Rusty traveled back, back, was traveling down the track, he noticed the same switch he had used to outrun Boulder all those years ago. Boulder was catching up fast. Just ahead, he noticed some switches ahead. One line up uphill. Boulder thundered past. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'll never forget those. <sighs> Later on, Rusty then came back up to the quarry. <laughs> Come on, Peter Sam, you have to move. No, you need to move, Scarlowie. No you, no you. <sighs> Alright, what's going on here? Nothing, Rusty. Peter Sam's blocking my way. I'm sorry, Scarlet. I need to get out too. I'm more important. I got stone on board. I have fuel on board my train. It's not safe for it to be around here. Okay, I can come up with a compromise. Sc how about this? Scarloli, back up and let Pierre Sam pull out, and then you can pull out. Ugh, fine. <laughs> See, isn't that better? I guess. I have to go get my train. <laughs> Later. Well, that's at least solved. Hey, Lusty, could we talk with you, though? We? <laughs> yes. Um, okay, what about? Lusty, are you scared? 
What? No, no, I'm not scared. Are you, though? <sighs> no, Scarlowy, I'm not scared. I'm just sketched out. About what? It's just being back up here, it just brings back a lot of bad memories about what could have happened or what and what happened. I just don't like coming back up here because it brings back those bad memories. I thought Sir Tom Hat wanted this place shut down after he spoke those words. Oh yes, I remember those words. He, I remember him saying is that we should have left this part of the island alone. Exactly. I thought he would finally leave the quar this quarry alone. Well, he just wants to try to help this railway. Plus, another thing, Boulder isn't here anymore. This means, technically, it's much safer to come here now than it was then when Boulder was still here. And Sir Tom Hat has no plans on mining near where the Boulder is now. I know that, but still... Rusty, I assure you, everything will be fine. But here's something I want to tell you. I understand is that you, like, experience bad memories. I did too when I first came back up here. You do? Of course I did. I was literally chased down by that thing, and a water tower literally almost collapsed on top of me. And me too. I mean, it literally chased me across the fire deck for crime any sake. It could have killed me. Rusty, trust me, you're not the only one who has bad memories. But you know what? How about we do something tonight? Such as... Scarlowy and Renez quietly whispered, spurred to Rusty. Later that evening... Evening. Everybody was preparing to head home. The sun went down, and everything was going good. Alfie and Oliver were hanging back... But Scarlowy, Rusty, and Renez, Renez were going somewhere else. Somewhere else entirely. It was near midnight as Scarlowy, Rusty, and Renez arrived. They soon stopped. Well, Boulder, we meet again. They looked up and then saw a large boulder sitting on top of the mountain. Yes, hello, Boulder. I don't know why you guys brought me here. It's basically meant to help face your fears. I'm not afraid of it. You obviously know you're afraid of it, Scarlow. No, Ren. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got my name to Get it together, Renez. We're trying to t do something serious here. Okay, okay. <sighs> Rusty, we're trying to help. We know you're afraid of what happened all those years ago. We're just trying to help you. Okay, then. But I don't know what this is meant to do. This is basically... Hello? It's just trying to help you solve your fears, basically. Just look at it. Yes, I can see it up there. Exactly, it isn't moving, it's not doing anything. And plus, do you see any machines digging at this mountain base? No. Exactly. Like Scarlowy said, this place has no intention of becoming a mine. This means that will never risk happening again. I, I guess you're right. I'm going to head back to the sheds now. I'm tired. Alright then. Rusty, do you, do you want to head back? Actually, you and Renez go. I'll stay here for a bit long. Alright then. Just remember what we said. Scarlow and Renez soon headed back to the sheds. But Rusty, on the meantime, stayed. He stayed for a little longer. When midnight struck... Rusty took one last look at the boulder. Well, I guess they were right. 
There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Well, anyway, so long, old friend. Um.